Hello and welcome my beautiful fellow Pisces, my mermaids and mermen, my sea sponges of the sea. You might be hearing a little bit of a humming in the background. I have my air conditioner on because we are in the middle of a major heat wave here and it is unbelievably hot. So if you do, that's what it is. Okay, so this is our all over short daily message. Let's see what we've got. Starting off, we've been given the card power. And you know, this is our time. This is the time to claim our power and step into our potential. This doesn't necessarily mean that we will be without fear. We might feel uncertain, but do it anyway, right? We need to be brave. We need to be courageous. We need to let the world hear our voice and we need to take a stand. Stand up for ourselves and for others. We need to share our passion and teach from the heart. We need to write and our words will have great meaning. So this is beautiful. So we need to hold our body as if we are incredibly valiant, noble, brave. After all, we are. So stepping up into the power of who we are, letting, letting uh, the powers that be know that. Uh, this could be at work. This could be, um, you know, at you might be at school it could be um you know with your family with your friends with your colleagues stepping up into your the power and letting everybody know i mean this is like the mountain of thunder here letting your voice express who you are the card coming in with that is the transformation card and this is the tower and this is a card that says yes we're getting ready for a big huge change here sometimes this change is inevitable and other times it might catch you off guard but nonetheless you're able now to go forward in a new direction you're rebuilding a new foundation this is a new beginning <clears throat> seeing the truth in something as well it's rapid change sometimes and it can be a life-changing situation uh, it's an awakening and we're recognizing life changes as blessings rather than challenges it's a wake-up call for us to do something new change can be indeed challenging but it can also be exhilarating the important thing to remember is that our angels and guides are happy and are going to help us fulfill this the powers that be what you lean into the universe whatever you want to call it know that you're being guided in this direction and you're going to see that you're going to now be able to open your eyes and change things in your life moving in a new direction rebuilding a, a stronger foundation often when this tower comes crashing down it's because it was never on a firm foundation to begin with maybe it was a shaky and uh, unfulfilling relationship maybe it was a job that wasn't bringing you the in the return and the rewards that you justifiably f worked for and felt that you needed so you're moving on you know, it's amazing how spirit and the divine send us the things we need at the perfect time in our lives. And sometimes it can be a shock and it can catch us off guard. But this is something that is, was meant to be. And you now have the power to stand up and scream to the world, yeah, now I can finally do my own thing. Now I, I've, I've had this decision uh, made for me that I have to move forward. And you're going to. This is about a new beginning for some of you Pisces. So absorb all this energy. Don't allow it to take you over. You're going in a brand new direction. And I love this. You know, it shows an angel leading, leading this individual out from the tower saying, hey, I've got your back. We can do this in a timely manner. So going after something new now. Okay, maybe you're going to follow your heart. Maybe it's something new like that that you've always wanted to do and you now you have to do it, right? You have no other recourse. You have to do it. Maybe it's a job that ended suddenly and you're going to say, well, you know what? I know enough about this. I've always thought about opening my own business. Now is the opportunity. I can do it. So beautiful. You've got to express your feelings for the next card. So what do we need to know? Okay, all our feelings are valid and should be honored. We are experiencing these thoughts and emotions for a reason. Never let anyone judge our feelings as silly or inconsequential because they are obviously manifesting within us for a reason. We have the right of self-expression and it's important and imperative on our road of self-enlightenment and awareness. It is vital that we as a human being release and express that which is in, within us. We need to speak up. <clears throat> it's safe. You know and, and do it never judge or harm another by our actions either right we should never keep a feeling thought or emotion bottled up if you've got something to say we need to say it okay this is what this is about stepping up into our power today saying what we're feeling not just holding it back not internalizing it and then later on regretting that we didn't let it out 
okay so our energy and energy flows better when we do that when we create a stoppage by suppressing our valid emotions they are left to fester within us they grow then we're not in harmony and we're creating a dis-ease to the natural flow of energy okay because our thoughts and our emotions should always come from a space of compassion always we need to always examine our feelings before sharing them are we coming from a place of love or a place of peace or are we coming from a place of judgment right so by bringing our truth out kindly we are letting others know that we are being honest to ourselves while being empathetic to them so opening our, our opening not only our minds today and our thoughts but our mouths okay saying what we need to say so if you love someone tell them you love them because maybe tomorrow you might not get that chance um, if you have to make amends if you have to have closure if you have to speak your mind on an issue then do it don't be afraid the seven of air comes in with this card interesting because this is the card of challenge but being being determined that and being re resi resistant isn't going to help we need to stand our ground we need to draw the line in the sand but not be resistant we need to be open when we do that to express ourselves okay so not giving up not rolling over defending our corner and doing it in a in a, in a compassionate understanding kind and articulate manner okay so this is communicating and expressing your feelings about something here in your life and not backing down walking away from it or giving up on it okay this is about defending your corner and explaining that as you do it okay but you're not going to go in with the roar of the lion and spewed off things that you're going to regret later and you can't take back right because you've heard me say that we cannot take back things we've said you know um uh, those those words can cut deep and we can apologize till the cows come home but that doesn't mean they're going to forgive us they may forgive us rather but they may not forget it they won't forget it okay coming in next we've got the card of release okay so this is letting go of things remember we and, and look what we've got here we've got the devil card as well so cha making huge changes here okay so we need to let something go it's time to release anything that doesn't serve us old negative habits do not engage us anymore as the payoff is not enough okay we're ready to make room for bigger brighter more aligned things right so there is a payoff if we decide to finally release something we no longer need the payoff is as individual as we are but there will be a universal feeling of making space for something new okay so the secret of effectively releasing what no longer serves us is in fact knowing that the payoff will indeed be worth it which makes it super important to know that <clears throat> that positive payoff you know is coming in for example giving up a habit such as smoking which we know is detrimental to our body and our health cancer causing whatever um you know is is something that sometimes we get the payoff knowing that we're going to feel better right that's just a theoretical example here so this is all about letting go of things that no longer serve us and i want to kind of relate this to uh to the um you know to the devil card because the, the ego card is exactly what came in with this which is i really find ex interesting because as i say i don't hand pick these cards the, i shuffle them and i ask what you need to see know and expect and this is what flies out so the ego is that card of letting go of things that no longer serve us it is it is a card that says we're going to make decisions to be healthier we're going to make decisions that are going to benefit us we're going to walk away from uh you know negative uh, and toxic uh, energy or relationships things that don't work out for us anymore things that hold us down right uh, even our mindset we're going to let go of thinking negative today we're going to be more positive we're going to stand up for ourselves in a kind and loving manner and we're stepping into our power as we go through this change today because this is all about change again as we know pisces that's all we do is constantly make change but often we find out when we do it is for the greater good and for the better so on that note we're changing things some of us are going to you know give up things that no longer serve us we're walking away we're not going to allow ourselves to become dependent on poor choices and decisions here okay this is a card of addictions addictive behavior addictive mindset any of those things well my beautiful fellow pisces my mermaids and mermen and my sea sponges of the sea this is our short daily message for today from our guides and i wish you a great remainder to today a prosperous healthy happy healthy and successful one and always know i send you lots of love and many blessings and i'll see you soon my beautiful pisces